Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We've got another new bag unboxing. So the bag I'm talking about is this Chanel bag. Can you guess what type of bag this is? This was in another video of mine when I did a collection video. You guys might have seen it then. I thought it was about time to actually show this bag in more detail. Here's the bag. Oh, it's beautiful. It is the Chanel DeVille tote. This is in this beautiful, glossy, I think it's a goat skin or a lamb skin. I think it's the goat skin because goat skin tends to be shiny like this. Um, however, it could be the lamb skin and I could be completely wrong or the calf skin. Um, this has got the Chanel logo with the pearls and the diamantes, sorry, the black gemstones. Just beautiful. It's got the long strap and also the handles. Guys, this bag I was contemplating for a long time. As you guys know, I already have another DeVille tote in the beige color in sort of like the uh, tweed. So a little bit more kind of relaxed, whereas this is really dressy. This is a really dressy work bag. I actually bought it as a work bag. This bag is gorgeous. As I was mentioning, I was contemplating whether I should get this or not because I do have another DeVille tote. However, I just couldn't pass up this leather version. I just, I find it so beautiful. Really dressy, sort of an all occasion. You know, you can use it on the weekend. You can use it for work. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Like it's really, because it's got that dressy element, it's really great. Sorry I keep moving it because the light is shining really heavily on the leather because it's so shiny. So I'm trying to take it out of the light so you guys can see it a little bit better. The back is just plain, like so. Um, I think they call this the 50 centimeter because it's 50 from here to here. However, from here to here is about 40, 39 to 41 um, centimeters. The inside is just one big bucket. Now I have been using this for quite a few weeks because I was in desperate need of a bag like this. This one has the toggle like all the others, the little attachment clip. Tell me guys, do you ever use this little attachment clip? And what do you attach it to? Do you attach it to keys or do you attach it to a makeup pouch? I mean, I've never used these. The only thing I ever used it for was maybe once when I put my puppy inside the bag and I had to, and she was so small, I had to actually use a ribbon to tie around her neck because I couldn't find any um, collars that were small enough for her. And I ended up buying her a cat kitten, like a kitten collar. But then that sort of wasn't right because it didn't have like a loop to um, put on a lead. Tell me what you guys use this for. Really curious. And then there is, so one big bucket, there is a zipper pocket at the back here. And then there's two kind of slip pockets at the front. Really big sizing, but I do recommend you guys using an insert with these just because this one has a little bit more structure than my other one. But I just find that putting an insert just tends to really um, give you more organization. You know, there's what, four, five, five pockets and a little kind of drink holder pocket. And that's really good. And when you're putting it in, it kind of adds another kind of area on the outside. So you can sort of slip something in here. So I just find that using an insert is just brilliant for these bags. And also it helps hold the shape, which I really, really like. So the detailing on this, guys, is absolutely stunning. Um, as mentioned, it's that shiny calf skin. There is also the brushed gold hardware as well. This one has the address name on it and also Chanel. The stitching is superb. The sides are in the quilt, so it's got that quilt kind of um, style about it. And the insides have the stoppers with the Chanel on the inside stoppers, which are great. Just a really beautiful, elegant bag. I love how these straps have got the leather 
piece up the top so that you can actually put it on your shoulder. Um, now guys, I used this as a work bag when I was traveling and I used it to put my laptop in. My laptop weighs an absolute ton because it's a really heavy duty laptop because I need to do editing and stuff on it. And I found that when I put it in this bag, even though this bag isn't that heavy, it is a little bit heavier than the fabric or the tweed ones. And it was nearly uncarryable. Like it was so heavy. I was like, I don't think this is good for the bag. But anyway, I didn't have to go a big distance or a long distance, which is why I sort of did it. But yeah, I, I just you got to be careful with these larger bags because when you fill them up with work things, books, computers, that kind of stuff, laptops, iPads, they get, they start to become really heavy. So I don't know whether I need to get a, um, a backpack for my laptop, but I don't know. So absolutely loving how bougie this is. I am going to change for the mod shots because I was planning on filming a different video. Anyway, long story short, I've got the perfect idea outfit for this. I want to make it very winter-esque, you know, very edgy, a little bit of leather, that kind of thing, just to sort of match the feel of this bag. I see this traveling with me in the car. I see it at airports. I think it's going to be such a versatile bag. All right, let's move into the mod shots. This can be worn quite a few ways, and that's what I really love about this bag. Um, firstly, you can just hand hold it, carry it to the car, carry it out of the car, carry it into work, um, just hand hold it like this. It also fits in the crook of the arm, so this is another way that I love wearing this when I don't want to carry it across my shoulder. Um, I carry it like this, and I do this quite a lot of the time, particularly when it's a little bit heavy. And then I also use the straps. And this is where it's super heavy and I'm like walking to my boyfriend's house. I would be carrying this on the shoulder. It'd be weighing me down. Normally I'm in a tracksuit or something really comfortable. And you know, I'm just throwing this over the shoulder. If I'm wearing something quite nice or if I'm in heels and I'm out and about, I probably wouldn't carry it on the shoulder because it really weighs me down, particularly when it's heavy. Um, so yeah, but I have found that like, my use of this bag, I don't really carry it on the shoulder that much, so that's really good. I also use this bag for photo shoots, like to help me cut things for photo shoots. Like if I'm going to a location and I need to carry three pairs of shoes and some accessories and, you know, all my filming gear and my tripods and stuff like that, I just basically fit them all in here. So. And normally I just, in that case, I just leave this bag in the car. Um, and then, so really I only have to get it from my house to the car, which is really quick and easy and short. I hoped that you found this bag interesting. Have you guys been eyeing this out? I mean, I know it's the same style as the other Deville tote I have, but why do I feel like it is so different? I feel like it is a completely different bag. Maybe it's because it's in black and it's in leather and it's shiny and it's got heaps of gold hardware. It just has a completely different feel in my opinion. Very French, very Parisian. Um, I just find this bag very, very classy. I hoped you enjoyed this video guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week. I'm also really prominent on Instagram. So head over there and follow me there. I do giveaways, polls and a whole lot more. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.